Hey guys and welcome to this week's installment of Tuesdays with Lauri. My name is Lauri Laukkanen and I'm one of the editors at SLR Lounge. You can also find me on Facebook at Lauri Laukkanen Photography. In this week's installment of Tuesdays with Lauri, we are going to be taking a look at my latest photograph titled The New Wave is Coming. Uh, this is a funny, humorous shot which took me a really, really long time to edit in Photoshop. It's, uh, I had a 5 gigabyte PSD file, we have over 100 layers, and it took me about a few, two, almost three weeks to edit the photograph. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to take a look at the Photoshop file and go through all these 100 layers, but we'll try to do it quite quickly so that you don't get bored, but you get an idea of what goes into the making of, pho of a photograph like this. So with that said, let's open up Photoshop and see what did I do. Okay, so here you guys can see the original image straight out of the camera. As you can see, I have the rubber ducks in place, the boat is there, the models are in a perfect position, but the main element, the water itself, is missing and that's what I had to create in Photoshop and that's what we're going to be taking a look at now. So as you guys can see first, I have three different PSD files open and they're actually all the same photograph but what I did was I divided uh, this photograph into three parts in order to run Photoshop a bit faster. So as you can see here I have a 2.6 gigabytes PSD file here. We open up this, this is 1.52 gigabytes and this here is a 640 megabytes so it was better for me to kind of split it up into three parts that way Photoshop was running a bit faster and I my workflow was a bit faster but yeah so here you guys can see the original image and uh, we're gonna take a look at this Photoshop file first so we have a folder here which I click on you'll see what I did in the first Photoshop file let's open up the folder and you'll see what goes into this uh, folder so what I first did was I created the rough draft of how the water would look like. So I added water under the boat and added water on the side of it, on, like next to the wall. And then I added some droplets on the boat. As you can see, I have some droplets here already, but I added some bigger droplets on the edges here. So this was like kind of the rough draft of how the water would look like. Then under the water, or before we go under the water, we'll see these folders here. For example, here I have uh, droplets on the boat. I'm turning it on and off. You can see it here. And uh, yeah, so I have the droplets here. I have droplet uh, the water on the wall. I can sh probably try to show you if I put this in normal, you'll see the layer. Yeah, so what I have is like a I created these stock images of water on black uh, backgrounds and then used this blending mode screen in order to get rid of the black background and just keep the water itself. But yeah, so under the water I figured there should be some sort of shadows going on. So what I have here is shadows. This is basically, I just painted with black, used a Gaussian blur and kind of made it a nice soft uh, shadow under the water and of course of course pulled down the opacity quite a bit so let's turn the shadows on you'll see it just gives a bit more separation between the wall and the water and then finally I have a folder called edge tweaks which means I, I did some tweaks on the edge of the boat and water just to make it look a bit better these are just very tiny subtle tweaks here so if I turn it off on and off, you might see some changes there. Nothing major, just a small little tweak. And then finally I have a texture here, which is applied kind of on the edges of the photograph. So here, as you can see, I'm turning it on and off. It brightens up the edges a bit and adds this water effect. A bit like water would be on my lens of the camera. So that's what this texture is doing. So that was kind of the first Photoshop file and I f saw that it's like 2.6 gigabytes so I thought well what I'll do, I, I'm quite happy with this now and uh, so what I did, I created a stamp visible layer and just moved over to the next Photoshop file. So that's what we have here, I'll just turn these off and this is where we were left uh, in the previous uh, Photoshop file. 
So what we have here now is uh, I did some more detailed stuff with the water as well as started coloring the image. So here we have some splashes. I can show you uh, quite a bit, uh, quite a large amount of splashes in this folder. And they're just some little details. Like if you look at the shoe here now, when I turn this folder on and off, you'll see I added some small splashes on top of the boot just to make it look a bit more realistic again. So this was kind of just making sure that everything looks okay as well as I added this water coming uh, from this side of the stairs as well as I figured there should be some water as well. Then we attached these ducts by using this two-sided tape. So uh, I saw that we had a bit of tape here so I just got rid of that here. And then I have the first coloring for folder which has a hue and saturation layer, a vibrance layer, a another hue and saturation layer and a curves adjustment layer. And when I turn it on and off, you'll see how I added quite a bit of color into the image, did some coloring. I can turn these off and we can take a look one by one. So first hue and saturation layer, just boosting up the master saturation because I felt this was really flat and uh, needed a bit of color. I wanted this to feel quite cartoonish in a way. So that's what we have here. Then we have a vibrance layer, which just adds a bit of vibrance and again, a bit of saturation in the image. Then we have another hue and saturation layer, which uh, I used to get rid of the greens in the water. So I just made it, uh, I desaturated quite a bit. And then I have a curse adjustment layer, which just gives a bit of a different color tone into the whole image. So that was the first color, uh, colors that I applied to this image. Then I created a stamp visible layer and did an iris blur as I felt there was so much happening on the edges of the image itself that I wanted people still to focus on our models. So I created the iris blur to kind of get rid of some of the details on the edges of the image. And so that's what we have here. This way now you can see the water, but you're still focusing mostly on the areas that are sharp. So the model. Uh, or the models and the ducks as well as the boat itself. Then we have another color layer here and uh, that's more mostly like small little tweaks. I have, I tweaked the redness of our model's face here and did some other stuff here. I'll turn it on and off. You can see just brighten up the image a bit, fix the redness on the skin of our model. Uh, yeah, brighten up the image. And that's pretty much it, what I did in this folder. Then I did some really basic uh, dodging and burning, or actually here only burning. So I darkened some of the areas like the, this, what do you call it? Um, don't actually even know the name, but you know, this area here. So I darkened it as well as some of the areas in the boat. And then I have a, dro a droplet texture here which again I applied on the sides. It's a very subtle effect. I'm turning it on and off. You can see just on the sides here, just a tiny bit. I think the opacity is just very low. It's been put down to 53 and I'm using a blending mode of soft light here. So yeah, that's a, just a slight texture on the edges of the image again. And now again, I felt that I was happy with this stage and I could move to the last Photoshop file in order to keep Photoshop running faster. So again, I created a stamp visible layer and moved on to the last PSD file, which you can see here. And as you can see, uh, I'll turn these off and you'll see. Okay, as you can see now, so um, this is where we were left in the previous PSD again, and now we're here and I decided to do some final fixes, do a few little tweaks, and then I was ready. So first, what we have here is a vignette. So I just created a vignette on the edges. Uh, you can see my layer mask looks like this. So that's like a vignette. Then we have a dodge and burn folder. And this is, again, I felt the image was a bit flat. As if you look at our model's faces, they're really flat, there's no interesting light going on there. So what I did was I just um, used dodging and burning to kind of create a bit of a three-dimensional look into our model's faces as well as the boat itself. So that's what we have here. And I can show you the, these are the uh, layer masks that I have. So 
pretty much dodged and burned the whole image. The water, the ducks, the faces of our models, all that. So that's what we have here. And then I kind of wanted to brighten up this area here as well as the window here. So I created these light leaks, uh, very subtle, just added a bit of brightness to the edges here and here. And then the last final fix is uh, I used a curves adjustment layer to brighten up the image just a tiny bit more. So that's what we have here. And then finally, what I figured was I wanted the water to look a bit more cartoonish. I felt there was a bit too much uh, detail in it. So what I did was I used uh, the oil paint filter. And now we can actually, we'll zoom into the water. Let's see if you can see it better. Like here. And now, so the water has a bit too much detail. Uh, so what I did, I used the oil paint filter. And now when I click it on, you can see how the water became much more cartoonish as well as the boat and this way even the edges look a bit more or they look a bit better and I like this cartoonish feel of it the only thing that I did not like about the oil paint filter was the fact that our models faces became very cartoonish as well so what I did was, was I masked the oil paint away from our models faces but left it everywhere else and this way I got this nice cartoonish look uh, which I was actually going for. Then finally, I felt that I was pretty much done. The last final thing was I tweaked the hue and saturation of the cyans in this image. So that's what we have here, mostly on the on this uh, paddle and then the boat as w these letters on the boat as well. So that's pretty much the only thing that happened here. And then a final sharpening layer just to add a bit of ta like sharpness into the image. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. And as always, if you have any questions or requests for future episodes, just leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you all out. If you enjoyed this week's video, make sure to like, share and subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching. See you again next Tuesday. Bye.